Hey guys, Phoenix here and welcome back to To The Moon. In the last episode we just had our first date with River and now we're about to activate the memento. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but I, it has popped up quite a few times so far. <laughs> right, so he might be quite young in this one. Let's see, is this a school? Ooh. There we are. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Um. <laughs> oh, is he trying to work up the courage to ask her out? It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh, what could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened, no one will know, and everyone will still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Oh, yells at me. Don't be a little wuss! <laughs> oh, oh, says yes, but really means no. Psh, quit worrying, who would do that? Well, <laughs> and what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? Oh my god, just get on with it! <laughs> I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. I really need to stop worrying about it and just get on with it. <laughs> Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be alright, just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, what are you... Shh. <laughs> we pushing him. <laughs> alright, come on. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, hello? Is she gonna talk to us? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes? Uh, then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you've got there. <laughs> what are you reading? A book. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> About platypuses? No. Oh, I uh, I think that's great. <laughs> She's not making this easy, is she? Um. Oh, um, lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly sixteen second-order Fre Fresnel lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Okay then. <laughs> oh, is that what you're reading about? No reply? This is awkward. Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? <laughs> I don't know. That's okay, I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Um, uh, how about this Saturday at 8? Um, <laughs> uh, well? Come on, girl. <laughs> Eva, I think the system froze. Yes! Oh, oh, great! Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> that was the most awkwardest conversation ever. What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break, he was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. And what's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Okay, right, let's look around for mementos. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle, no, not really. Never mind. 
Right, are you going to give me one too? Nope. Okay then. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you, go out. Me, you, now. <laughs> yeah, that really wouldn't work. Don't try that. That's just terrible. I know. And it would have still been better than what you just did. Yeah, well, it's not his fault. He did an okay job. Ooh, an art class. Anything good in here? Probably not. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. <laughs> You'll get good if you practice, you know. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. He paints like I do. <laughs> Very badly. Anyone? I don't know what class this is. Anyone at all? Maybe geography. There's a globe there. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously nobody knows the answer. Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? Oh. I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. That's a bit mean. She doesn't know the answer. <laughs> Fine, I guess we'll have to... He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palace de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alva Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Whoa. I take it she didn't know the answer then. Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Wow, so she's clever. But see, was that so hard? Whoa, thank you, River. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near for photographic memory? Not really, though I think their root memory is often fairly strong. Hmm. Okay, looks like sports. That's a wrap, you chumps better be um, better next time. Ah, uh, an terrarium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. <laughs> Is there anything worth getting in here? Oh, hello. Ugh. <laughs> Fine, you win. Boo yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what you won then. Maybe the class <laughs> about the painting. Just need one more. Ooh, we can go in here now. It's closed before. Ah, uh, lunch time. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. Oh, that's a bit mean. <laughs> she just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. That's not a deformed duck toy, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit me. Quit making up words. Anyway, she's just so off, you know. It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and the goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. <laughs> the fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick. I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everybody else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is, I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. Oh, I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's true. That's just what grandmas tell you. 
Wait, so this guy is some kind of a human hogging hipster? That's sort of uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about at the cliff? Oh yeah. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from how... From who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. <laughs> Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Oh, I don't know. Is that what he's with her for? Just because she's unique? Right, let's see if we can do this <laughs> in a bit more successfully than the last times. So we've got six attempts. That might be a tricky one then. Um, right. It's been a while since I played this game. Maybe if we go for the diagonal and then it gives us that. Ah, oh, but then if we... Ooh. Let's try this. And then that one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we did it in six. Woohoo! Where's the next memory going to take us to? Oh, he's at home. He's still roughly the same age. I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. Well, that was a quick stop. Not much to do there, really. Just collect a few mementos and then we're off again. Oh, another sixer. Right. I wonder if it's going to be the same. We have to get the diagonals. Mm, we've gone past six, but we've... Eh, not too bad. <laughs> Eight. I can live with that. Right, let's move on. Hmm, where are we now? This is weird. Uh, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Uh, Eva? Uh oh, what's going on? What the hell is that? Whoa. Whoa, what? I'm guessing this has never happened to them before. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenagers saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright, oh, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Mm -mm, okay. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalise before activation? Ladies first. Ooh, so we can't go back any further. What a shame, I was actually looking forward to it. Ooh, Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Okay, so we've gone back to the real time now. And that's John in the bed there. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Okay, so this is him just before he got ill. And that's all his old fool knows. Sorry, I can't be in more help. And then that'll have to be enough. 
Uh, all that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfil my wish here and now? That would work, if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare for this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behaviour. The result of that would be then written to the real John. It's very complicated. <laughs> so you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive, he's not real, you know. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? <laughs> That's a good point. I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor? Is that what I truly am? Oh, he just disappeared. <laughs> Well, he knows he's not real, so he doesn't have to answer the question, I guess. Whoa, this is different. Okay. Ah, all of our nights work. Wow. Okay, so these are the mementos and looking back in time. Down his timeline. So we had to stop. It is teenagers, really. Whoa. Uh, what the? At least give me a warning first. <laughs> what can I say? I like being ahead. Well, it looks quite fun. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Whoa, that's cool. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. That should be simple, but we're going to do that next time. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like rating if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.